Cleveland on the Rocks. We're at Liza Bourbon Bar. And I'm Matt. And that's Jay. And you know, Jay come over here today and he was like, Matt, you know what I was listening to in my car? And I was like, no, what were you listening to? And he goes, dude, I was bumping Lil Wayne on the street and these gangster kids were like, yo, you tried Lil Wayne's rum yet? And he was like, no, but I'm going Matt's to do it and we're about to drink some Bamba. Because Lil Wayne likes Bumba, and we like Bumba, maybe, I don't know. But it seems like something we should do because Jay likes to listen to Lil Wayne while he's driving around in his truck like, mm -ch -mm -mm -ch, doing his thing, right? Yeah. I feel like he's he's being very shy right now, and that's okay, Jay. Like, the people know you like Lil Wayne. I feel it. Do they? So, this they bottle looks... They, do. they know you well. <laughs> They're like, Jay, Lil Wayne, yep, a milli, a milli. <laughs> That's your bottle. Tell me that's not sick looking though. It's got a big X on it. It's like X marks the spot and this is where it's supposed to be super cool. And this is Bumba Rum. This is a product of Panama. And I feel like you gotta say it that way because that's super cool. And I have no idea what proof this is because it does not say. I'm gonna say this is an 80 proof probably. I'm right. 40% 80 proof. Got it. That's what we do. And look at that. The cork even got an X on it. It's like we're marking a spot where you're supposed to open this. You ready? Nice pop. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a weird ass cork too. Look at that. Yeah. Super weird shape. But yeah. So I figured because Jay come over here with his little Wayne on and I told him I was like, look, he was going to wear his dreads and I was like, Jay, I don't know I about the dreadlocks. <laughs> and he was like, you know what, Matt? I'm going to just not wear a hat then and I'm not wearing dreads today. And I was like, all right, all right. Dude, that's dark. Yeah, I was just going to tell you, that's really dark. Wow. Oh, man. It's got a nice smell to it, though. It does. It's got a little sweet smell. It does. It almost smells like a a smoke with a... What is that? It's like a fruit. I don't smell fruit, but... It's got like a fruity smell to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is going to be great. We're going to find out. Yeah. Cheers. What the hell? This is so light. It's uh... Um, wow! It almost tastes like nothing. I was gonna say, nothing like it smells. No. At all. So... Kind of. What is that taste? Wow, this has got to be the cleanest rum I've ever had in my life. Not that I've had a lot of rums, because I haven't, but... I've had a couple, and... This is clean. Like, super clean. I, uh... You don't like it? It's very sweet. Almost like a vanilla-y sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I was just gonna tell you. I think I'm getting kind of a, like a, a, a cross between vanilla and pecan. I know that's a weird combination. No, I know where you're going with this. That does. That sounds right. But uh, this is really good, actually. You like this? I do. This is why we have different. I, I feel like honestly, I'm not a big rum guy, but I mean, like Lil Wayne would say, "Drink my bumba." You know what I'm saying? Is that what he would say? Like, I, I, I feel like he'd be like, yo, Matt, drink this Bumba. And I'd be like, yeah, Wayne, let's do that. And that's what it would be. And that's kind of where, you know, that's where I feel like it would be. No, I don't think I know that. You don't? Um, I mean, he'd be like, cash money records, nine, nine, Bumba. Do it, Jay. And Jay would be like, yeah, man, I'm about to bump it. So, so, that's what it is. <laughs> so we know who was listening to it while here. <laughs> well, I mean... I heard him pull in, so it's like, oh, it's stuck in my head. Like it's stuck in your head. Thanks a lot, Jay. I appreciate it. I mean... Well, I'm going to hope that Bumba gets better on the second taste. You didn't like it? I wasn't a fan. Hmm. Why is that so easy to drink? It is super easy. Like, that's so, crazy how smooth it is. Like It's almost like nothing. <laughs> it kind of does. There's no This burn. is almost like trouble. I'm going to put no a piece burn, of ice no in this, and I, I'm hoping that it brings out some kind of... But I don't know what that flavor is. I'm, I'm telling you, I got so, a, little, a hint of vanilla and some pecan in there. I, I feel like you're dead on. It says toffee, roasted oak, vanilla, orange zest, peppery spice, and even a hint of coffee. I don't get all that. But no coffee. I get the more like... The oak, okay. The vanilla, definitely. Orange zest, not so much. Well, yeah, that's maybe where the sweetness comes in, is that orange zest. Because the orange zest is just where they take the peel and they just over it and you get the little orange shaving stuff in. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like that's good. What's, this yeah, is a killer though. Definitely, I like if it. you if if you're not if you don't like that burn and that hug, and if you're someone who wants to throw back a shot and you don't want that 
afterward. Yeah, there's nothing there's after. There's no, no burn, no nothing. No, this is the softest, easiest thing I've ever had. And that's good. I guarantee, This is probably distilled like a million freaking times to make it this smooth. This is crazy. What does this bottle cost, man? I bought this with two store picks in Kentucky. You don't know. I don't have a clue. I'm going to say 45 bucks because I feel like 45 bucks would be somewhere near. I don't know. Special cool black bottle. But it's not the one with Lil Wayne on it because there is one with Lil Wayne on it. If you see that one, get that one because that looks super cool. That looks super cool on the shelf. Like, I love it. This is good, though. Oh, wow. That's even more. I was easy. just going to tell you a bigger what difference hell? With, with it chilled. Hmm. Bigger difference. Still That's not cool. a fan, though, being honest. Really? Yeah. All right, so basically, do you want a rum? Doesn't taste like a rum. That's where you're going, dude. It don't. Would you want a rum that doesn't taste like a rum? <sighs> I mean, honestly, I'm not really a big fan of rum. I gotta put coke in it. This I could actually just okay. drink. So that makes sense. I w it's like a vanilla. Okay, so if you put this in, three shots of this to one shot of coke, that would be perfect with this. Normally, Captain, I would go two shots of Captain, four shots of coke. But this one, I would go three shots of this to one shot of Coke because I feel like this needs to overpower the Coke because this is this is actually smooth and good to me. It is really smooth, though. I will say that. But if you're looking for something that's super smooth, mind you, it's not on the OHLQ website, so I don't believe they have it in Cleveland yet, but maybe they will at some point. That'd be super cool. Lil Wayne, send it here. Super awesome. Then Jay will bump your music even louder so we can all hear it when we're coming. You know. We got you. But, yeah, I would pick this bottle up. And even if you don't want to buy this bottle to drink it, look how sick this looks. Tell me that don't look super cool sitting on your shelf. People are like, yo, what's the bottle with the X? Lil Wayne will tell you about that. Or you can buy a cool. drink it. Yeah. And they have a white bottle and a clear bottle. I've seen two of them. I saw the white one and this one. But there is a third one. I saw it online. Super cool. But we'll put the picture down here. Lil Wayne drinking the bottles. And he has all the bottles. Doing that thing. Right there. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, like we tell you in every video, if you're drinking while you're at home watching us, then you don't have to drive. But if you're out somewhere else, don't drink and drive. Get home safe. People love you. That's what it is. Make sure you like us, share, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikToks. Do all them things. Thank you, guys. See you next time.